It was a moving, profoundly sad send-off for Detective Jason Rivera. How can you find the words to express the profound sorrow of a 22-year-old gunned down in the line of duty? I would say good morning to you all. But in fact, it's the worst morning ever. Dominique Luzariaga, the heartbroken widow of NYPD detective first grade Jason Rivera, awash in unimaginable sadness and grief, delivering a heart-wrenching, moving tribute to her husband. She told the hundreds who attended his funeral at St. Patrick's Cathedral the day her husband was killed, they got into an argument. He offered her a ride. She took an Uber instead and called it the biggest mistake she's ever made. Seeing you in a hospital bed wrapped up in sheets, not hearing you when I was talking to you, broke me. I asked why. I said to you, wake up, baby. I'm here. The little bit of hope I had that you would come back to life just to say goodbye or say I love you one more time had left. I was lost. I'm still lost. My brother had a lot of fears. My brother was afraid of heights. He was afraid of rats. He was afraid of dogs. He was afraid of dogs. But he wasn't afraid to die to wear that uniform. All Detective Rivera wanted in life was to be a cop. Today, he was elevated to the rank of Detective First Grade. His wife presented with his shield. We may not match the sacrifice made by Jason, but we can try to match his incredible sense of service. We may not match his courage, but we can try to match his passion. And when all was said and done, hundreds of police motorcycles rode by. The flag that draped his coffin was presented to his widow, his brothers and sisters in blue, offering a final crisp salute to say goodbye to a hero. And the NYPD's Emerald Society marched alongside the hearse carrying his body, symbolizing he'll never be forgotten. Detective Rivera's wife is wearing his shield and, of course, his shield number around her neck on a necklace so that he will never be forgotten. The NYPD referred to as New York's finest, and he embodied that. 